30 Minutes of Umoria, show 110. Hello! Welcome to 30 Minutes of Umoria. Let's play. You know what? The keyboard is not plugged in. Let's do that. No keyboard. No keyboard. Comedy of errors. Da da da. Whoopsie. There is your title screen. What do you think of that? All right. That is you more at 5.6 all the way, baby. <laughs> Let's play. This, the 110th show of 30 Minutes of Umoria, is brought to you by the lowercase letter C. The lowercase letter C represents nine different creatures in Umoria, one of which is the giant red centipede. The giant red centipede is usually found at depths of 500 feet and moves quickly. It has an armor rating of 26 and a life rating of 3 die 8. It tends to overlook intruders, which you may notice from 120 feet away. It can bite to attack with damage 1 die 2, and sting to poison with damage 1 die 2. The Giant Red Centipede Before we get started, let's check out the real source code! Okay, okay, it's source code time. Let's spin the wheel. Hmm. Let's see. How about set large? That's the one I want. Nope. Next to core. Next to core. What does that mean? 18 lines long. Misc1.c. Misc1. One dot C. Misc one. <clears throat> Four. Next to core. Checks all adjacent spots for corridors next to corridor. That makes sense. Note that yx is always in bounds, hence no need to check that. Jk are in bounds, even if they are zero or cur x minus one. Blah. Somebody needs to learn how to write English. Okay. So we check a box around ourselves. To see if we're near a corridor. If the floor is a core floor and there's no treasure there, or there's just a door there, <laughs> then yeah, hey, I plus plus. Neat. And we notice we don't break, we're just going to keep going around checking for the number of corridors we're around. Neat O. Alright, what's the use case? Probably running. Nope, it's in generate. The next to. The next to function. I don't know what that's all about. But we can be next to corridor, or we only do things for an extra corridor. Look at that. Otherwise, next does not work. Hmm. If next to corridor is over two, so we have to be near three corridors. Wow. Seems like a lot. But I guess it's just corridor floor, right? So you'd have to really check closely to know what corridor floor meant as opposed to whatever other kinds of floors are at that point. <laughs> and anyway, that is the next two core function of misc1.c in the Umoria sources. And that concludes the Wheel of Source Code. Our character is at 1950 feet, which is pretty low. 2000 is our lowest depth yet. 
you're a level 36, not really caring about level 37. That's how that works. We are looking for items that can kill the Balrog. There are a bunch of those. Um, and we already have a bunch of those as well. So uh, I'll just tell you about those as I clear this level. Um, I'm being pretty cautious as I move around this level here. I won't be running into the dark. I can't tell you how many characters I lost just that way. Um, and now I cast Detect Monsters a lot. You know, I, I learned that on the news group. And, uh, you know, you can look at very old posts on the news group. Very old posts. And uh, I kept dying and I kept seeing these winning posts. People said, oh, I won. Fun game. Balrog wasn't so hard, etc. And I would just be amazed because all these people were winning it. And I was not. So uh, one guy gave a very particular description about how long it took him and what his strategies were. I remember it. And it said it took him about two weeks to complete, which I now know is like the normal time frame. And that's two weeks of every day playing a lot. <laughs> Whoa, ancient black. Um, so yeah, um, so he said, whoa, <laughs> pause story, deal with ancient black dragon that's chasing. <laughs> whoa. Get around corner. Hands are getting a little sweaty here, a little sweaty. Um, we have resistant armor on and we have resistant amulet on for resist acid. Black, uh, it goes with the acid attack. So is he smart enough to get around that corner? Probably. Yes, he was fast enough too. We are already wielding our Slay Dragon weapon. Now what we have to do is make sure we hit him first. We're going to hit him with Fireball. Fail number one. Fail number two. Well, he's next to us. Let's just hit him. Okay, no hit points scored on us, but we did hit him. Miss, 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 claw, miss. So while we do this, uh, the other monsters could very well come around the corner here. Um, the same corner that the black dragon came around. So I'm going nice and slow, watching my hit points. And watching that corner and all other doors. The, the calculation for what we do could easily change. So our Slay Dragon weapon, I think it does times three or even times four damage against dragons. Thank goodness, I mean... Uh, how would we ever deal with this, you know? Otherwise, it is just an insane number of fireball spells. 141 we're at. 130. He's not making us blind or anything. 109. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to quaff a healing potion. We've heard him plenty. Plenty, excuse me. And uh, what we want to do is draw him out into the middle so that um, he can drop more stuff. That is a thing to behold right there. That's beautiful. Now we hit him with everything we got. First hit. All right. Switch back to Holy Avenger. Put on the slow digestion amulet. And we're good. Rest up. But first, let's deal with this wraith. Got him. 
It looks like the other people are staying put. There's this cold ring, Kirsir's wounds, and that's it. A glive. Just a normal glive, not too magical. Alrighty, moving on. Was that our first ancient black dragon on this level? In this clearance? Could have been. Bandits drop stuff, but no stuff this time. Where are we going here? Looks like we're going to clear the left side of the map. Potion of Dexterity, we can use that. Now, if you look at our Dexterity, it's been sapped. Uh, by a death closet, I believe. Um, it's sapped a fair amount. But I believe this potion will increase it to 100 and get rid of the uh, and restore it as well. So it should be 18,100 and that's it. Let's give it a go. Nope. I was wrong. So, don't waste <laughs> potions of dexterity on a wasted dexterity. Wow, that sucks. Oh well, what do you do? What do you do? Not much you can do when you don't have that potion on you and you don't want to go up to town. Not much you can do. So, um, back to my story. Yeah, I was watch reading the news, looking at very old posts. Whoa, look at all the stuff. Back when Moria was in its heyday. Yeah, and the guy said, uh, yeah, it took me two weeks, wasn't too hard. Once I figured out about detect monsters, <laughs> he said, whoa. Where is he? Everything got easy, he said. And I said, detect monster, that spell I never learned, that's like first level. You know, how could a first level spell be that interesting? I said. <laughs> but that was the spell that, uh... Hmm. We have one, two... Okay, just two, two magic runes. Two special runes. How could that spell be the thing that flips the tide, you know? And he also talked about not running. Are we in a room here or what? We're in this room. So, I employed those two things. I said, okay, I'm not going to run into the darkness anymore. And I'm also going to cast... Um, ooh, what's that? I'm going to cast... Detect monsters a lot as well. I forget the other things he said, but those were the, the things that really hit home with me. And uh, then I had my first win after that. I said, I said to myself, I can't keep getting down to 2,000 feet and then dying. All these other players, they can't possibly have replayed this game so many times and died. So I said, there must be... Whoa. I said there must be a reason. My, my actual playing ability must be the problem. And that, that was it. Um, you know what? We just fought that whole battle with the wrong weapon. Silly, silly, silly.
Hmm. So yeah, those uh, those news groups are still a valuable resource. The code is all the same, essentially. Potion of Wisdom. Can't use it. Oh, two special rooms done. Look at that. So anyway, um, you'll probably... Maybe you've already won the game. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you're seeing this for the first time. Uh, but anyway, uh, maybe, just maybe, you can get some ideas for how you can change your technique in the game by watching this show. Stranger things have happened, right? Whoa. Okay. Going into the unknown here. Ah, nothing here. So that is one, two, three corners. Oops, see, I just did what I said what I wasn't going to do. Ran into the dark. Look at that distance. Ugh. Soft leather boots. Are they cool boots? Nah, not particularly. Let's clean up this rubble. Oh, I found something. Wall building. Kind of ironic. Um, Alright, more rubble. Where are we going? Ah, okay. Let's continue on over here. Check out for dragons. Well, we're awfully close to that dragon right there. Aren't we? Mature black. You know what to do. Um, I think what we'll try to do is pull him back into this room here. What do you think? So, where? Resist acid. And what? Switch to slay dragon. Turn the corner and hit him with fireball. And then run like hell. Can't close that door. We can't close that one. And where is he? He's stuck at the door. There he goes. We'll get him here, folks. He's waiting on the spot, waiting on the spot. He's going to pop out around this corner. And fireball. 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 Wait a step and then hit him. Right there. There we go. Perfect. And that is called managing your uh, your dragons right there. Now you can also do the same thing with these chests, but this is just a small chest. It's okay. You can move the chest into the middle of the room. Same kind of mechanism. Just mine. Alrighty. Okay, now what? What are we gonna run into? Whoa, how about a skeleton troll? 
Orc guarding a ring. Constitution. Do you think that ring of constitution will uh, actually improve our hit points? Not that one. Yikes. Not that one. All right. Looks like we've done the loop de loop. Now we do the center, and then this level is lit. Excuse me. All right. What is that? Yikes. That could have been an ancient multi hued but it's not. It's a white. Um, what, are, what are we equipped with here? Let's put on our slow digestion amulet. It would make sense to have a bunch of amulets, wouldn't it? And you just kind of put them on to get double resistance. Just an idea. Switching to Slay Dragon. And now, hit him with Fireball. Move one back. Now he's perfect. Perfectly placed. We'll still watch the door behind us. 215, 206. 194, 187, 178. He's really putting up a fight here. 146, 130, and we got him. All right. Wand of wall building, bar chain mail, lead filled mace, sleep monster. Battle Axe. Wand of Wonder. Well, let's check the Battle Axe. That's a good weapon, but not good enough. Check the Chain Mail. Not resistant. Don't care. Red Filled Mace. Could be good. And it's not. Ah, but dragons are fun. You get lots of stuff. Hmm. Couple of W's staring at us here. How do we get there? Ah, I see it. This is the way. Okay. White Wraith. I only took one shot. Potion of Lose Wisdom. Okay, you see what's ahead of us. Oh. You see what's ahead of us, but then we don't even do anything about it. Now, normally I would phase door away. I'm not certain I really care about experience points anymore. We talked about this last time. Well, what have we really lost? You know, a chance to get to the next level? Well, I'm not really all that concerned about the next level. So yeah, we're down 50,000 points. Eventually it'll, it'll affect us, it'll affect our hit points. That's actually a quicker way to deal with those guys than, uh, than Fire bolting or fireballing. Okay, what do we got? We got an orc mage and nothing. I shot nothing twice with a uh, fireball, firebolt. 
Alrighty. Okay, we're connecting up the missing spots here. We're just turning on all of the tiles. Excuse me. That looks like a done board to me. Oh, we still have a spot down here in the bottom right. How do we get there? Where is that spot? They don't make it easy to get to. Yeah, I should have picked that one up earlier. So I'm glad I did a detect monsters there. You should do that as well. When you're moving around a cleared level, be very careful. You know what, let's just wear that resist acid amulet. Of all kinds of food. Ugh. Scale mount, not really interested. Yeah, there's a way in. No monsters detected. And give me a ring with something in it, like a potion. A yeti. What's he guarding? Wow, we got something in it all right. We got a an iron helm, a young green, and a mature green. Close the door. Mature greens can actually give us problems. So what we're gonna do is Get ready. <laughs> Check to see if he's awaken. If he's awoken, awaken, you know him. Ignore the young dragon. Creep up on the mature dragon. We're good. In fact, we'll go here so that there's more places for things to drop. Now we're going to hit him with the fireball first to make sure he's good and hurt. And then we lay into him with our weapon. He's awake. We're at 254. No gas. No poison gas, please. He can breathe for about 200 even now. I guess not. So, let's just go over here and finish the job. Alright. That was very nearly the last one here. Potion Dexterity. We should pick that up, shouldn't we? Keep it. Cure Blindness. Yeah, that's good. Restore Constitution. We don't need that one. We need Restore Dexterity. Sticking Cloud Wand. No thanks. And a Spear. All right, now that Iron Helm, what's the deal there? Is it a special one? Nope, not that special. So, moving on to the final room. And there is nothing there. Oh, there's more down here. Look at that. What's he guarding? Ah. Oh. Broken dagger. That's like a bad joke. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Um, watch out what uh, you stumble into. That's the, the lesson there. Yikes. Mature black is on upon us. Now, right now, we have no way of knowing if that uh, ancient dragon is behind him. I guess we might see him. Twelve, two twelve, 
213. We're afraid. So let's hit him with fireball. And that is all. Okay, we're gonna hit this guy with the fireball. Then we're gonna back him up to a, a good enough spot. There he is. Hit him maybe four times. Once, twice, three times, four times, maybe five times. Okay, we're gonna back him up now. Come on, follow me. Follow me. Oh, here he comes. What do you think? Is that a good spot? Maybe one more over? Ah. Good enough. No, I want him one more down. There you go. Perfect. 169 is what we're at. Watching the doors to 155. Oh boy, 132. You have the right weapon? Yeah. Come on, get him. Any moment now. <laughs> he's going to drop some good stuff. What do you got for me, Ancient White? Ah, he's got scrolls. Mostly. Careful. Poison. Restore Constitution. Scroll of Genocide. Protection from Evil. Nice. Um, let's just clean up this little area here. And I think that is all. Um, I'd like to go up to the town now, actually, and clean up. I think that's a good idea. To the town. And we're back. Restore life levels? Not there. How about restore dexterity? First, let's sell our two handed. Anymore. Hmm. So, how about <laughs> 200? How about 136? Look at what he's selling it for. 37.20. So, quaff that. Now quaff the potion of dexterity and we should be at 100. Ta-da! Um, for kicks, we will buy the rest of the potions of restored dexterity, but they have no more. Huh. That's too bad. But they do have lots of enchant weapon stuff. Now, did I hear once that it was a good idea to um, cast these down lower in the dungeon? These, these uh, enchant weapons? Did I hear that? That makes sense. Don't know. Well, looks like we have two of those. Precisely two. Um, that sound uh, means five minutes left, people. Five minutes left. So, I guess we'll just check out what's for sale at the armory. A couple of expensive pieces, but uh, nothing resistant. Nothing resistant. Nothing special there. Lightning balls, that's always good. How's our food? How's our oil? Looking good. Alright, down we go. 
Hopefully next time we'll get the uh, Restore Life Levels Potion. Okay, we're at 2,000 feet, people. First things first. Read these scrolls. Didn't work. And how about this one? Fails. All right, let's bring this gelatinous cube out in the open. Hmm, looks like there's a bad guy around the corner. There he is. There. What do you give us? What do you think? Potion? Oh, a flask of oil? Just a ring? Alrighty. So where on the map are we? We're here. Let's go for the top left corner. It makes good sense to start from an edge. That way you know what's behind you. There's it goes the Zorn. I don't think I've ever killed a Zorn without the rock remover. I don't know if he would otherwise drop items. Maybe he drops a whole lot, I would never know. Doesn't say anything about that, about may carry anything. But that's our monster memory, it only shows what we've seen, I think. Okay, going back, double back. What's over here now? Looks like we have a mature green, people. All right, here we go. Try to sneak up on them. Give him a nice fireball warning. And here we go. 261. 262. Fireball and two hits. Or maybe that was three hits. Ring of Strength. Staff of Detect Invisible. And Small Iron Chest. So what, what I do there is I just turn on um, Search and I wait on the spot until it says, I found a trap. Alright, this is level 2000, folks. Anything can happen. Anything can happen here. Alright. I am being extra cautious because Flipping the page is actually quite dangerous. And this is just how you stay alive at this depth. First thing I do when we flip the page is cast the Detect Monsters. Now, you're giving the monster that might be there a chance to shoot at you. Maybe breathe at you. And sometimes I have that chance before you even came around the corner or you came over the edge, the threshold of the map flip. And we'll have to leave it right there, folks. And we've uh, been at it for 30 minutes. So thanks for watching, and next time we'll pick up right from this spot. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.